so now we have the uh, frame here. It's all been sandblasted. I uh, didn't get a video right before it went, but it's all been cleaned up. Aluminum oxide, we should call it, because we blast with aluminum oxide. And this cleaned up really well. A little better than I thought it would. Uh, it's got some patina, but overall it's not too awfully bad comparatively to what we see. The inside of the frame rails are spectacular. Really spectacular. But uh, a little bit of pitting at the front here on these uh, shock mount towers. Typical. But uh, it looks real sharp. And uh oh, we have uh, replaced on the very front a power steering conversion that was done not to our liking. Uh, and uh, we have placed on a power steering conversion here such that uh, the box will sit right there. So that kit will, the box will sit down a little bit lower. The other one was kind of on top here. It really didn't look good. Put a block on plate on the uh, passenger side. And also welded some captured nuts, captured nuts in here. So we can put our uh, hooks in here and other type brackets and gussets and things without much effort. So uh, nice to do, but we've gone right through and uh, sandblasted. We might just, we're going to keep these and maybe remove them uh, before painting, regardless. We have the bump stops there. But everything's cleaned up really well. Our next stop is going to be paint. Our leaf spring gussets are in pretty darn good shape, as well as frame gussets and rear cross members. So we're doing okay at this point. So we're not far from paint here. Get it into a nice black color, and uh, we'll go with it.